Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, we're going through Ephesians right now, and we're talking about characteristics that the Christian life should have in them if we are a true follower of Jesus. These should be characteristics um, in our lives. Today we're talking about to be pure sexually and in your speech. Okay, And we talked about the, these are things that in our old life, we talked about this back, well, what episode was it? Taken up episode 34. Taken off the old. This is the old. This represents the old. And then putting on the new. Well, the way I lived before in the world, um, sexually, it shouldn't be the way I'm living now. Okay? Uh, I should remain, be pure uh, sexually. But then also in the way I talk about that, um, in, in my speech, the way I talked before when I was living for the world and living for myself, that way it should be cast off, okay? I should be get, getting rid of that. And my speech should be all the more uh, pure and glorifying God, okay? It shouldn't be the coarse joking and, and uh, sexual in, innuendos and all that stuff that I was saying before. It should be, my speech should be glorifying God, okay? So let's read today. This is taken from Ephesians chapter 5, we're in Ephesians 5 now, and this is verses 3 through 7. All right, so you can follow along in your Bible like I have here. I'm reading from the New International Version, and I read pretty much that version every day unless I see something that I like the translation a little better, but uh, usually it's the New International Version. So let's read here. It says this, but among you there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality. Not even a hint of it, okay? So th don't even, like, um, you know, y you're s supposed to go out to lunch, and um, it it's another woman, and uh, it's not your wife. Don't even have that hint of it, okay? Don't, like, oh, yeah, sh she won't mind and stuff. It shouldn't even be a hint. So someone walking in going, oh, uh, are, are you no longer married to Myrna? Uh, it should not be a hint. All right, so let's keep reading here. Uh, but among you, there must not be a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. All right. All that stuff shouldn't be in the Christian's life. A person, you know, coming and seeing you down, walking and seeing you walk down the road shouldn't be questioning like, is he a Christian? I don't know, because the way he's acting with other women and stuff, I don't know if he's a Christian or not. And do Christians act like that? Okay? It shouldn't be a question. It should be like night and day uh, about that, you know, the difference there. Verse 4, nor should there be any obscenity, obscenity, foolish talk or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. Okay? And this is not talking about don't tell jokes. I love to tell jokes. But your jokes shouldn't be um, coarse and, and crude and, uh, and sexual, all right? You can say many other things that are not like that and have many other funny things to say that don't reflect that, okay? You, you'll, it seems like now every time you go to, if you would go to a comedy show, it always has to, to be sexually related or um, uh, nasty words or, or so forth in there. Um, why can't we, you know, clean up our language? Uh, because there's a lot of good things you could say um, that would still be funny. Um, but so anyway, this is, uh, our talk shouldn't be like that. Verse 5, for of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, okay? Uh, idolater is not someone following God, okay? They've taken God off the, the worship stand and they're worshiping something else. Uh, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God, all right? So, um, let no one deceive you with an empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not be partners with them, all right? So, you're not even to be uh, partners with them. You're not hanging around those type of people now, okay? So, for me, for example, if someone is talking nasty and, or they're acting nasty, I, I just don't, I kind of get uh, the heebie-jeebies and don't want to be around them uh, because I know it's offending God and I don't want to be the one even around when the, when the person is offending God. And uh, it doesn't reflect what a true Christian is like. And so I, don't, I, I choose not to, to be around that. Um, so 
in, in conclusion, you know, you need to to be pure sexually, and it, and it says there at the beginning, don't you, there shouldn't even be a hint of it. No one should have any doubt um, that you're a Christian, and you know where you are sexually. All right, and then in your speech, in your speech should be uh, just pure. Okay, sometimes we slip up, you know, but w when we can ask God for forgiveness for that, but it shouldn't be a daily thing of that nastiness coming out of us. All right. Thank you for watching. I'm a regular dude walking in the word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Ephesians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.